break. Oh. Nowadays, the World Rally Championship is dominated by the likes of Hyundai and Toyota. But it wasn't always that way. There are a host of legendary cars from Rallying's back catalogue, so I've asked Tiff to choose one of his favourites for a look back at one of the world's muddiest motorsports. And here's what I brought along. The car that took the only British drivers to their world championship titles, Colin McRae, Richard Burns, gold wheels, blue paintwork, big wing at the back. It is a big wing. The Subaru Impreza. Very nice, but if you step back a decade to the 80s, we've got absolute rallying royalty with the Lancia Delta Integrale. And can you remember it with the old martini livery? There's a bit of a homage to it oh, there. It did look good in those colours in there, yeah, a little bit there. Doesn't look too bad in this colour as well. I don't just want to look. I'm, I'm going to drive this, you can drive that. How about that? We'll, have a, well, we'll swap it up a little bit. I'm never quite sure about you Come driving. Me, It'd be nice, nice to get your opinion. Yeah, but I'll be on the wrong side of the road, which is dangerous. <laughs> Boost coming here. This is lovely, isn't it? It brings back a lot of memories. Great seats. God, they're so comfortable, aren't they? So what's the engine in this? So this has got the two-litre 16-valve turbo engine with 218 horsepower. Only left-hand drive, then? Only available been left-hand drive for the Integrale version of the Delta. Well, this one was it six constructors' titles, was it? World Run. Six consecutive constructors' titles, ten constructors' titles overall. That's going back to other models, yeah. So this iconic car, I mean, of course, you know who drove it in the 80s to those championships, don't you? Because <laughs> as you know, it only actually won four drivers' championships driven by... I know the name. Yeah. Starts with H, I think. Well, give me a clue, yeah. give me a clue. Yuha. Yuha. Hankinen? Yay! <laughs> so his name, is it? It's funny, isn't it? Because they're nowhere near as well known drivers. Right. In this, because you've no idea it. the second driver that won the Come world. Come on. They won two each. Juha Kalkinen won twice. And of course, the famous Italian. Who, who was? Mickey Biazio also uh, won twice. I would never have got that in a million years. <laughs> wow, this is lovely, isn't it? What a beautiful steering wheel. But funny enough, you mentioned that Lance has got 10 constructors' titles. It actually goes right back. The first one was with the Fulvia way back in the 70s. And then the, the wonderful Lancia Stratos won two world titles. Magnificent car. And then of course that was Group 4. And all this Delta thing came about when Group B came in, right? So Group B was the new regulations, 1981 or 82, where you had to build 200 cars to homologate for Group B. And of course that was the time when the Audi turned up with the Quattro and started winning. And Lancia were developing that, you know the Lancia Rally, that 037, yeah. rear wheel drive. So I actually got flown out. It was one of my second ever journalistic stories. I was flown by Autosport. It's literally in the early 80s, right at the beginning, Lancia didn't know whether to concentrate on the rear wheel drive Lancia Rally, wow. which was like the new Stratos, as it were, or go four wheel drive. So I actually tested on a runway the prototype Delta H, it was, the, it was going to be the S4, wasn't it, in the end? So this is the HF, which is the high fidelity. Yeah, that so, goes on another decade, though. Right, this is going back, okay, right back, back to Group B. Wow. So I actually drove this understeering box around a runway and then drove the Lancia Rally. And they were both just prototypes. Neither really worked that well. And the difference between Group A and Group B is the number of cars. Yeah, so Group B was for 10 years. And uh, they actually, Lancia won the World Championship, still win rear wheel drive. They beat the Quattro. Wow. Still took a world title. But Imagine then they, that in these days. Yeah, they gave up on the, on the rear wheel drive and went to the S4. Their, their, you know, Group B car. But then we had the actual, of course, sadly, Toivonen was killed in Alantia, uh, and that's sort of the end of Group B. And then in comes Group A, and this is the new HF was brought in. They had to build two and a half thousand cars now. As opposed to about 200, yeah. was it? Yeah, 200. Okay. And so the life of the Group A, which we're now sitting in, uh, began. It's like going back to school with you. <laughs> it's good, I like it. I love how analogue everything is, this Momo steering wheel. How many dials and <laughs> circles you've got on that dashboard? Uh, there's lots on there, but there's, they're all doing a job. There's battery, which I guess they really need, but you've got... Boost gauge exactly. in the middle. Give it some boost. 
This is only a five-speed manual. I think the Subaru has a six-speed manual. This is a five-speed manual. What a lovely little gearbox. How's that lag? Slow down a bit. Is the, slow down a bit. Now, if you open the throttle, now to accelerate, does the lag come and go? Yeah, it's, it's quite a, a bit of lag. Yeah. A good old-fashioned lag. Yeah, exactly. You know these uh, stalks, the indicator and wiper stalks, are the same as you find in a Ferrari F40. Really? Yeah. And don't forget the, the original Stratos, that shared similar parts with uh, Ferrari as well, with the 246 Dino, the same engine, the same yeah. chassis. So you say Stratos, I say Stratos. Stratos, but you're, you're yeah. posh. I was dragged I up, not water. You've got the old elephant. You know why there's an elephant? Come on. Why is it an elephant? Apparently, story goes that once an elephant gets going, it doesn't stop. Okay. But then it wouldn't put me with great confidence to the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I like that idea. I'm in a car that once it gets going, doesn't stop. What's the driving position like? That it looks very Italian. Well, it's, Perfect for you, short legs, long arms. Exactly. Well, it's a short wheelbase, guys. Like a, it's like the original hot hatch, really, <laughs> when you think about it. But yeah, it is. It's it's a good driving position for me. I'm really impressed, actually, how well it goes and how you know responsive it is once you got through that initial lag. Once you've got the boost chimed in. Of course, it's funny. We're about to get in the Subaru now, which is came good really when the regulations changed again the car we're about to drive because group a it got complicated for the manufacturers came over to make those you know evolution specials like mitsubishi had a new evo 4 evo 5 evo 6 so manufacturers were dropping away from rallying so that's when they came up with the wrc the world rally car rules uh, which the subaru did adapt to with the car we're about to drive whereas lancia didn't that's really they they stopped it when the new rules started coming in it's a shame. It was the end of the rallying for Lancia. Lancia haven't rallied since Amazing. the Delta stopped. After ruling the roost for so yeah. long. And left hairpin, handbrake into straight 400. <laughs> the old beep, beep, beep. I have to say that used to drive me mad when I first tested this car. It's a bit of fun now to go. 6,000. <laughs> but to be honest, it drove me mad when I first tested these cars. Of course, now we've got, what, nearer 270 horsepower, 100 kilos lighter. It's amazing what difference sort of 10 years makes. So what engine's in this? Well, the funny thing is we've moved on now. So the, the, the Lancia Delta was at the end of the Group A regulations. But of course, Subaru was successful with their Group A car because McRae won the championship in 1995. But Colin McRae never won in this car. No, he won in the Group A version. Yep, this is the World Rally car. But of course, these WRXs, what's well, X for experimental, isn't it? They're actually put together by ProDrive, the company that ran the rally championship. You're right, the ProDrive link with this. This car is actually the only registered on a logbook ProDrive car in the UK. The SCI has already done in terms of tuning. ProDrive just aesthetically put that big spoiler on the back. Uh, and things like the grille on the front, so make it look a little bit more, well, just like the rally cars, basically. This car celebrates the new rules, the World Rally Championship, which, which loosened up the regulations because Group A was so restrictive. You had to build two and a half thousand road cars. So now with the World Rally Championship, you can just add wings and bits and homologate your own modifications instead of having to make so many of them. But um, Subaru went on, they won the World what, Rally 2001 with uh, Richard Burns, 2003 with, oh, beep, 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 yeah, 2003 with Petter Solberg. Mustn't forget Petter, the third Subaru World Champion. Well, it's quite funny, as I was linked with uh, going out and testing the Lancers, I was very much linked with Subaru because I was actually doing a sports programme called 555. So, of course, the Subaru 555 is the cigarette of course. brand, which is the blue and gold colours they come from. So I did a lot of work with Subaru and uh, was lucky enough to sit alongside both Colin McRae and Richard wow. Burns filming. Wow. And then even better than that, in the shakedown for the Spanish rally, I did the shakedown test with Colin on the tarmac test. Amazing. Drove their test car with Nicky Gris sitting beside me. Yeah. So I actually drove McRae's Subaru. The best thing about that Subaru was the gearbox. It was just clack, 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 yeah. clack, 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 clack. You could jump from fourth to second. 
and uh, it was so much more satisfaction to driver than the flappy pedals. That's, I mean, it's always easier, it's quicker with the flappy pedals, but there are all those extra skills of double D clutching and clutch, clutch, absolutely on the manual. And of course, this has got a six speed manual as opposed to the five speed of the Integrale. But look at the difference in our dashboards. Whereas the Italians had the most complicated dashboard, I've got three whacking bay tiles, revs in the middle, speed on the right, fuel and temperature, and that's it. You know, when this car came out, it was slated for how ugly it was, so it was called the... Oh, it's got the headlamps, the, what is it, the bug eye or something? They exactly, it was nicknamed the bug eye, and then they did a facelift version of it, which was far more successful in terms of looks, and that was called the blob eye. Oh. How about that? It's all right, but nowadays, it's kind of acceptable to have big spoilers and fins and stuff all over your car. It just seems normal, really, oh, doesn't it? I just it? like looking ahead with the power <laughs> bulge, looking behind me, looking through the big letterbox window. <laughs> Uh, and just thinking of Colin McRae, Richard Burns, and not forgetting Petter Solberg. What a wonderful day out, driving two iconic rally cars. Four-wheel drive, rally driving experience on the roads. And the best bit, you can pick up one of these for around £10,000. Good value. Lancia? A good one's going to cost you anything between 50 and 80,000 pounds. I'm going to have six of these for yeah, one of those. They're not really head to head, are they? They're not really no. competing directly head to head. But I'd rather be Colin McRae or Richard Burns than you <laughs> are Kanklin or Mickey Biazion, you but see. I've got to say, though, they both bring back loads of memories, don't they, driving the cars? I tell you what, though. It's just, I'm not sure about the yellow colour. Could I have one in martini colours? If you want martini, original martini yeah. livery, they did a special edition, that's going to cost you over £100,000. What other colours could I have? What do you want? They do a nice less and white, special blue. edition one. Blue, yeah, they, blue. Do, they do a black, they do a red. Okay. Red's very nice, actually. But yeah. the Subaru blue is still Subaru blue. You're right, it's iconic, isn't it?